Here are the top five New Year's resolutions, among them exercising more, saving more money, and to quit smoking. Choosing your resolution is the easy part. Sticking to it, that's the challenge. Joining me right now to help us stay on track, Tony Horton, fitness and lifestyle guru and creator of P90X. Thanks so much for being with us. Good morning. How are you this morning? I'm doing fantastic. A lot of people, they want to lose weight. They want to work out more. They want to eat better. La, la, la. You know, we say it, and then by January 15th, oh, la, la. it's kind of like, what, what did I say I was committing to? What's a better approach to setting these kinds of physical goals? Well, you know, I think a lot of times people have unrealistic, unrealistic expectations. You know, you can't conquer the world in the first 15 days. You know, I'm going to quit smoking. I'm going to lose weight. I'm going to go vegan. I'm going to climb Everest. I'm going to heli ski in Alaska. How about we just lose you know, five pounds in the first couple of weeks. If you do that, and if you're consistent with it, the more you do, the better you get. I think also too, there's a lack of accountability. I mean, who are you and what are you relying on to get through this thing? Your husband, your friend, your neighbor, your coworker. I mean, it's nice to have company when you're trying to make some changes. Also, people don't have a plan of attack. I, I always say, write it down, put it on your refrigerator, your front door, your bathroom mirror, because if you don't write it down, you'll, if you write it down, you'll do it. If you wing it, you won't. And also the resolution probably might not be compelling enough, or maybe it's even too daunting to sustain long-term. So it's, it's, it's really important to kind of pick something that you think you can stick with. And, and, and sticking with it, I love the accountability part because so many people just say, oh, I have the willpower, I have the tenacity, I can do this. But most of us can't overcome on our own. If we could, we definitely wouldn't need help and we wouldn't need community. Mm -hmm. What are some ways that you can mentally prepare for change? Uh, you know, I would say, I would say don't do it alone. Find a partner, you know, to stay accountability. I mean, I, I work out six days a week and there's always somebody in my backyard to join me, you know, and I would also lower your expectations in the first couple of weeks. I think, you know, I mean, if you do that, and a lot of people think lower my expectations, I should raise them. No, I mean, if you just, you know, do something reasonable and then there's a, a lower chance that you're going to fail. Also, I wouldn't judge the journey. Too many people, if they make a mistake, they quit. You know, be present, be okay with the missteps because the missteps are inevitable. And then give yourself a tangible goal. Again, write it down and give yourself a realistic end date. You know what I mean? So, okay, I'm going to reverse engineer this thing. I know what I want in the end. What's it look like from step to step? And chances are, if you have an actual date, whatever it is, July 1st, May 3rd, just pick that date and you'll do it. You know, I know that you had your own struggles with your health. At one point, stress was really weighing on you and you had, mm -hmm. you became immobile. So what's something that you can tell our viewers about how to manage stress in a healthier way? Yeah, I mean, I got Ramsey Hunt syndrome, just like Justin Bieber uh, a couple years back and it was pretty brutal. And so I, I discovered meditation. Meditation changed my life. I hadn't really done it before, you know, cause I was always pushing hard and, and you know, and, lifting weights and running and doing all these things. And you know, my, my lifestyle was stressful. So, you know, if you don't know how to meditate, I would say download the Calm or Unplug apps and they'll teach you how. And then find other mindfulness techniques. I don't care what it is, something to help you stay relaxed, to stay present and then stay enthusiastic about this shift in your life. And then last but not least, don't, don't keep it a secret. Share it with the people in your life who will support you and don't Share it with the folks that will judge you and you know the difference between who's who, you know, so. That's for sure. Tony Horton, thank you so much for being with us and Happy New Year to you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.